a good, you know, I noticed that, Aaron, now that I am home, I've got a woodpecker that's very busy in my backyard. But once the temperature goes down in the morning, he just stops work like everybody else. I think he must be home, you know, on cold days. So uh, I'll be looking forward to hearing that noise, that rat-a-tat-tat, when the weather gets a little nicer. Now we're going to welcome in Ed Dranch with headlines from the 7 Eyewitness Newsroom. Good morning, Ed. Hi, Linda. Good morning to you. You know, you always have a way of putting things into perspective and making us laugh in the morning when you talk about that woodpecker and his rat-a-tat-tat. It made me laugh here in the newsroom. Let's get you caught up with what's happening. This morning, we are expecting to hear from Governor Cuomo. He's due to speak at 1045 this morning, though he's taking things out of Albany and moving them west here to Buffalo. He's due to speak at Roswell Park. The details of his announcement outside of his daily briefing, though, unclear. One thing he has has been talking about over the last several days and weeks is the idea that testing needs to be ramped up statewide so we know who's been exposed to the virus, who has those antibodies, and who they may have come in contact with. So Erie County says anyone showing signs of COVID-19 can get tested. County Health Commissioner Dr. Gail Burstein believes the county and Kaleida Health, working in conjunction with each other, do have enough testing kits to test anyone who has symptoms. So if you've got a cough or a fever of 100.4, we've got information for for you on WKBW.com if you're interested in getting one of those tests. And as I mentioned, those antibody testings also a huge deal. So 20 pop up sites have popped up across all of New York State, including two here in Western New York. Again, they want to know anyone who's come in contact with the coronavirus and who might have an immunity toward it so that they can kind of uh, expose how far or how wide reaching the coronavirus actually is. Senator Schumer also says a deal has been reached on key elements of a $500 billion aid package that would help hospitals and small businesses. Details and the full extent of that deal have not yet been disclosed, though, Linda. And we're going to continue tracking that all for you in the 7 Eyewitness Newsroom. Back to you.